the first thing you need to know about hip hop. It's all about your posture. And hip hop is this. Okay, it's time to get cooking. Spaghetti with broccoli, garlic, and oil. It's what happens when you take the basic technique of alio olio and you add an element to it, a vegetable, something to round the dish out. And broccoli is one of the great things that work in this. What I've found with this is most recipes, people cook the hell out of the broccoli. Cook till it's real soft, it's got no texture. Sometimes they even turn it into the sauce with the pasta water so it becomes like this greenish sort of rough pasta sauce. I'm not going that route. I prefer a little bit more life to my vegetables. So the goal here is we're going to make a, a pasta with broccoli, garlic, and oil, but the broccoli is going to still have a little bit of bite to it. We're gonna aim to get a little bit of caramelization on the broccoli so there's a little bit more depth of flavor. In my alio olio video and my weekday sauce video and a lot of my videos, where I use garlic, we slowly bring the garlic up to temperature and we try not to get a little color on it, but that's for an intentional reason. And the more I've used garlic and the more like I get color on it by accident sometimes and taste the flavor that it gets, the more I realize that it's not an unpleasant flavor. So today we're gonna try and get like some caramelization on the garlic a little bit to get a bit more depth of flavor. And it's not generally served with cheese, but I, I think the cheese helps season the broccoli and it makes it a little bit more palatable for the, a kid who's eating it possibly. For me, this is all about building on last episode where we built a pantry and now I have my pasta. I've got garlic on hand. I've got pepperoncino in my spice cabinet. I've got my olive oil. All I need to do is go to the store and get fresh broccoli, which this is about a pound and a quarter of broccoli, $4. So assuming your pantry is stocked, the day you try and make this it all costs you $4 and we're gonna make a portion for two. And this is gonna be plenty of broccoli. This is one of my favorite recipes. It's all about timing. Some people might like their broccoli softer so you can cook it longer or you could cook it less. You know, this is a recipe that is sort of, you can cater to your tastes. I catered it to mine. I'm gonna show you that technique and you can take it from there and do what you will with it. This is how I make spaghetti with broccoli and garlic and oil. So let's just get right into it. So what's great about this recipe is how quickly it comes together and how quickly a lot of these non-tomato based pasta recipes take to make. So I've been cooking my pastas that require lots of starch in the water in smaller pots. There's a myth that you need to cook it in a huge pot of water. It's not true. You're just hydrating pasta. It's fine. If it's got no space to kind of turn around, then yeah, it might stick, but we've got plenty of space on here for two servings of pasta. It's gonna create a ton of starch in the water that's, that's gonna help make this sauce come together. We're essentially combining pasta water with oil to make a less oily, creamy sauce. And that's what this alio olio method is all about. So I'm gonna fill this up with water, I'm gonna bring it up to boil, I'm gonna cut the vegetables and the garlic, and by the time I'm done doing that, this should be boiling and I could start to make this dish. So let's even track this in real time. It's 2.52. I'm basically gonna run through this as fast as I can. It might not take me as quick as I can normally because I'm shooting a video, but you'll get the idea. So let's get this filled with water. So that water is on the stove. It's coming up to a boil. We can start cutting the broccoli. One of these is probably good enough for one person, to be honest, because we're gonna use the stem as well. If you have a big, huge head, that's probably good for four people. Um, sometimes they don't come with as big of a stalk, so just sort of use your judgment. And what we want is bite-sized pieces, but if it's too small, we might cook them too much and they might get soft. If it's too big, they might be awkward to eat and not cook fully. So we're basically going to cut the florets off individually and then kind of break the sizes down to where we think we like them you know again it's up to you and then we're gonna shave the outside of the stalk and cut little like ribbons of it that are kind of sort of be a little bit like spaghetti in the thing so I go through you can take these little branches off and then I just sort of will go and fleck off the florets Once I get a bunch of them off, 
I can just cut the head like that, and then you get these pieces that sort of fall off. And then I might take this and cut this into three. I'll go in and I'll cut some of these bigger pieces in half. Some of these smaller ones are good. If they're super big, you can cut them in quarters. So now we have a woody stem here. You can cut that off, even that out. And then I can cut it into twos like that, and then basically just shave off the outside. And then cut into planks. And then cut those planks into little strips like that. You can even cut them again in half, so they're bite size. So there you go, you got your broccoli. I mean, this is even a lot, so it's gonna get a lot of veggies in. I like a lot of garlic in mine. Some people are scared to put a lot of garlic in their garlic pasta, but I ain't never scared. Put as much as you want. We're gonna get a nice sort of brown on these. They're gonna, some are gonna be a little bit more cooked than others. You're gonna get a lot of flavor. It's not gonna be so garlicky intense, believe it or not. So it's almost like the more you cook it and brown it, the less garlicky and intense it gets. So that's sort of how you can control the garlic flavor. You want more intense garlic flavor, you could not brown it as much. If you want to kind of mellow out the flavor, you could get a different type of flavor, then you can get some color on the garlic and it's gonna be fine. Just don't like burn it black. I can hear my pasta water just started boiling. Then we're just gonna slice this up like we normally do. This is sort of an oil and garlic base, so you need to be a little bit generous there. Okay, 307, so that was like 10 minutes. Water's boiling, I got a big pan. These are my Sardell pans. A lot of people are asking about pans. There's a link to these down below. I really am enjoying these, they cook really well. So I'm gonna get this pan pretty hot. Like I wanna almost sear these so that they brown, but don't cook in the inside. And at the same time, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil because I don't want to create like a big mess when I add it. Then once these are in and going, I'm gonna add more oil. I'm gonna add the garlic. I'm gonna add the pepperoncino. And every time I've made this, I've used a timer. And the pasta that we're using takes 10 minutes to cook. So we're gonna set a timer for eight and a half minutes. And when that eight and a half minute goes off, that's when we're gonna pull the pasta out of the water and into the pan. The problem is a lot of people boil this or blanch this first, and then you're adding pasta water later, you're double blanching broccoli, and then it's gonna get cooked to hell, and that's no good. So, we're all set. Let's just jump right into the recipe. That oil and water shouldn't be broken. It should be emulsified. There should be a little bit of a sauce. You can always make more sauce with the pasta water if it's not enough. Beautiful, it smells garlicky, and that garlicky brown garlic smells different and delicious. Using a plate, guys.
See if I can get some broccoli, some spaghetti, some stock all in one bite and it's not too crazy. It's, there's like a hominess to this dish for some reason. Maybe it reminds people of their childhood. It's a great way to eat broccoli. Generally, I don't love broccoli that's not like roasted, but if you leave a little bit of life left to it, you can get some caramelization, which I didn't really get. It's hard, because if you get too much caramelization, you overcook the thing, so. It's a balance. I've made this, like, like I said, so many times in the past few months. Each time has been just a little bit different. This is like the most al dente I've gotten the broccoli. It should still hold to a fork. That's generally a good idea. Whether it's crunchy or just has a little bit of a al dente bite to it, as long as it can hold onto a fork, I think it's, that's a good way to eat it with this. The sauce is delicious. The sauce was broken before. You know, you saw, you saw the oil and water split, but through that emulsification, it creates this, it is an oil, but it's a creamier kind of thing. It's not like drinking olive oil. So that's what makes this dish delicious. And then that oil kind of creeps into the broccoli and flavors the broccoli. And you got a little spicy broccoli with the oil coated noodles and it's heaven. And the Italians will tell you not to eat an oil-based sauce like this with cheese, but it's just too good with the broccoli. Like the cheese flavors the broccoli. I think it's needed, to be honest. I think it does go and I enjoy it. That's the way I enjoy it, so I don't care. I forgot to show you, I've been like 20 minutes of like shooting the photo and doing all that, but it's 3.42. I shot this whole video in an hour. The actual cooking part didn't take an hour. It probably took 20 minutes, 25 minutes at the most. And that just shows how easy this is to put together for a quick weeknight meal. And the broccoli stalks are delicious. Don't throw those away. I am certifiably obsessed with this pasta right now. Mm, that makes me so happy. I am becoming sickly obsessed with pasta. It's, it's getting bad. I even joined the gym. Thank you so, so much to all my patrons who are scrolling up on the screen right now. You guys make so much possible. And if you wanna become a patron, there's a link on the screen and there's a link down in the description as well. Make sure you go check out the recipe for this on my website, notanothercookingshow.tv. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at the food freak with two Ks. I know, it's stupid, but there's a story behind it. Thank you all for watching this video. The season has begun. That's all that I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Go feed yourself.